spots here, Rabbit River. You got that radio on? Yeah, go ahead. What you up to today? I'm uh, headed to the Wildwood Truck Show. Ten four. Uh, your plates say Michigan. You come all the way down to uh, the Wildwood Truck Show just for that. Actually delivered boars head in Jacksonville, Florida. Is that normally what you guys carry? A good share of it's all boars head. What region do you normally run? Uh, we run uh, for 48 states, anywhere from Brooklyn to LA. 10 4, and you get to drive that fancy Peterbilt all the way uh, through these here 48 states? Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, some people are going to call you a lucky dog. Yeah, some say that. Well, tell me about the truck, uh, the year, make, model, uh, what you got for horsepower, transmission, and all the good stuff. Uh, it's a 1986 359. It's uh, stretched out to 305 as the wheelbase. It's got a B model cat, all repainted, 15 speed transmission. Trailer's a 2001 utility, 48 foot spread. Well, what do you got for rears? Uh, 355. some of the custom parts that you're running there on the truck? Uh, it's got a custom uh, paint job. The uh, white is actually called Cadillac Pearl and the gold is uh, Las Vegas Gold. Uh, it's got a uh, WTI fenders, uh, custom bumper, drop visor, uh, deck plate. All your drops in the back were made by Ride High out of Grand Rapids. Uh, it's got the Dino Flex 8 inch straight pipes on it. There's uh, a wood floor in it. You know, different leather seats. The dash was all pulled out and painted pearl white. Give me an idea of uh, where you came from but before Jacksonville and uh, how does she do for you on the road? I came from Howell, Michigan. Uh, it does quite well for itself. 80,000 pounds coming down here to Georgia was my first stop and then uh, second stop was Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, did quite well. Has plenty of horsepower. Well, what do you go by on the radio? Uh, they just call me Doug. 10 for Doug. Well, I appreciate you letting me tag along with you uh, going from point A to point B. That's a fancy looking ride. That's an awesome looking ride you got there and uh, lots of folks love to see it. I actually saw that truck uh, up at St. Ignace, Michigan and it was, uh, it was looking nice up there. I appreciate it.
Doug, let me ask you about your, your, your history. How did you get into trucking? Uh, my uh, dad was an over-the-road truck driver. My oldest brother is an over-the-road truck driver, so I kind of just followed in their footsteps. How long have you been trucking for? Uh, about going on 13 years. Well, that's a decent amount of years to have, uh, have a good amount of experience under your belt. Uh, what are some of the things uh, that you would convey to someone who's thinking about running a reefer of 48 states? Uh, some of the pros and cons that you can share with them. Uh, the pros would be you get to see a lot of the country, different states. Uh, kind of get out of your own hometown and actually see what the United States is all about. And we're like, in the diversity of the whole United States of so what you're used to and how other parts of the country uh, operate. I guess the, the cons to it all would be that you're gone a lot, uh, depending on where you go. Now with having 13 years on the road experience, uh, when it comes to the motorists, if you could convey something to them that would make your job easier, what would you tell them? Uh, if you're going to pass, actually pass, don't ride alongside you. Yeah, that's true. And uh, What are some of the reasons that you would say that? I mean, in, in your truck, in that truck there, you know, people talk about blind spots, you know, what are some of the blind spots that you deal with? Uh, right next to the passenger side door, there's, I mean, they're in a little car, you, you can't see them, you don't know they're there. Because like, you get a lot of cars that'll try to pass you on the right, or whatever the case may be, but... Doug, it was great running along with you, uh, getting to learn a little bit more about uh, the Gold Digger. And I hope you have a good time down here in Florida while you're here, and uh, we'll see you soon, huh? All right, yeah, I appreciate it, and uh, yeah, we'll see you around.